Good morning. Welcome to Hardin County Commissioner's Court. Today is Monday, November 21st. It's 9 a.m. This is a special call meeting. All members of the court are present and the meeting is called to order. Everyone will please rise for the invocation by Deputy Donnie Gully. Lord, thank you for the opportunity to come together today, Lord, and thank you for this new day that, that was never promised to us, but yet you chose to give it to us. We thank you for everyone here today. We pray for wisdom and strength. We give you honor in every choice that's made today. And I ask that uh, you be with every one, keep them safe, mind, body, heart, and spirit, and keep your spirit first and foremost in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number three, we'll pass that and come back to it. Item number four, schedule groundbreaking ceremony for the new Hardin County Courthouse Annex building at the construction site located at 1105 Redwood Street in Coombs. I'd like to propose that we uh, schedule that for around 1030 right after our commissioner's court meeting on December the 12th. Is that good for everyone? Yes, sir. We have a motion. I'll make a motion. I'll for I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Roberts to schedule the groundbreaking for December the 12th at 1030. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number five, Deborah McWilliams, County Treasurer, consider request for authorization to open four new bank accounts in the name of Shirley Cook, a tax <coughs> assessor collector, to become effective on January 1st, 2017. So moved. Sorry. Have a motion by Commissioner Cooper and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Item number six, Deborah McWilliams. Consider request for authorization to change one of the authorized account signers' names from Ed J. Kane to Mark Davis, effective January 1st, 2017, on the following three bank accounts, jail commissary, sheriff forfeiture, and sheriff's federal equitable sharing. I think Ms. Uh, McWilliams sent us a letter, and you can see there's three signers on that account, I believe. Right. We're just going to replace one of them. So moved. I have a motion by Commissioner Roberts and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> item number seven, Misty Sims, purchasing agent. Correction of agenda item nine and 10 of the November 11th, 2016 commissioner's court meeting to replace the word bids with proposals in each item, giving the purchasing agent the following authorization. Solicit proposals for consultant to apply for hazard mitigation grant program regarding a new generator for the courthouse annex building and solicit proposals for consultant to apply for the Texas General Land Office CDBG DR funds for 2015 floods regarding possible buyouts. So moved. Second. <laughs> I have a motion by Commissioner Kirkendall and a second by Commissioner Pelt. Any discussion? Misty, did you want to explain how that happened? Or? Um, yeah, I just no, I'm, 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 no, that's fine. I was trying to buy some time for uh, Connie to get back with that information we're waiting on. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. We'll go back to item number three. Glenda Austin is out today, and uh, Connie Becton is sitting in for her, and we're waiting for some information in order to canvass the votes. So as soon as she returns with that, we'll go back to item number three. And we're still being recorded. And I don't know how to make it stop. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's have a lot of silence. Yes. Delia, it's good to see you this morning. How are you? Good. Did you want to give a speech on anything or talk about the health department? All right. Thank you. Okay, uh, 
she said this is what Secretary of State gives her to do, mm -hmm. but she can amend it when she gets back off vacation. And Amanda's printing some results now so that y'all will have that. Okay. If y'all want to approve it, she said modify with modifications. Okay, we can do that. Okay. So we'll go back to item number three, Glenda Austin, County Clerk, canvassing the votes for the November 8, 2016 general election. And as I said earlier, we have Ms. Beckman sitting in for Ms. Austin this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so for the 2016 general election, the total number of voters voted was 23,070. Provisional ballots cast was 57. Provisional ballots counted was 23. For the presidential, we had Donald Trump and Mike Pence, 19,606. Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine, 20. 2,780, Gary Johnson and William Weld, 353, Jill Stein and Ajumu Baraka, 41. And then if you'll go down to Brian Babin, we have 20,151 representative I'm Republican, and then in the Green Party, we have Hal J. Ridley, Jr., 1,213. Republican Wayne Christensen, 18,290. Democrat Brady Yarbrough, 2,956. Libertarian Mark Miller, 807. And the Green Party, Martina Salinas, 222. Uh, Republican Party, Deborah Lehrman, 18,595. And, Connie, this is a different race here. This is the Justice Supreme Court place five. I see. Debbie, yes. Deborah Lehrman is a candidate. Sorry. Uh, Democratic Mike Westergren, 2,912. Libertarian Kathy Glass, 621. Green Party, Rodolfo Riviera, Munoz, 170. For the Justice Supreme Court, place five, Republican Paul Green, 18,707. And I hate to stop you again, this is That's place nine. I see. Okay. <laughs> Door, uh, Democrat. I'm I, I'm, you had it right, I said it wrong, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Dory Contreras Garza, 2,743. Libertarian Tom Oxford, 663. Green Party Charles E. Waterbury, 135. For Justice Supreme Court, place nine. We have Republican Eva Guzman, 18,427. Democrat Savannah Robinson, 2,903. Don Fulton, Libertarian, 645. For the Green Party, Jim Chisholm, 262 votes. All right, Justice Judge, Court of Criminal Appeals, place two. <coughs> Republican, Mary Lou Keel, 18,442. Democrat, Lawrence Larry Myers, 2,989. Libertarian Mark Ash, 626. And for the Green, Adam King Blackwell Raposa, 127. For Judge Court of Criminal Appeals, place five. Republican Scott Walker, 18,822. Democrat, Betsy Johnson, 2,871. Libertarian, William Brian Strange III, 421. For the Green, <coughs> Judith Sanders Castro, 144. On Judge, Court of Criminal Appeals, place six. Republican, Michael E. Kiesler, 18,445. Democrat, Robert Burns, 2,968. Libertarian, Mark W. Bennett, 714. State Representative, District 19. Republican, James White, 
19,843 with no opponent. And then Justice Ninth Court of Appeals, District Place 2, Republican, Charles A. Kreger, 19,577, no opponent. District Judge, 88th Judicial District, Earl Stover III, Republican, 19,867 with no opponent. District Judge for the 356th Judicial District, Steve Thomas, Republican, 19,807 <coughs> with no opponent. District Attorney for the 88th District Judicial District, David Sheffield, Republican, 19,503 with no opponent. I move this list be approved as canvas with the provision that the other races not presented here would be amended and added into the record. Second. I have a motion by Commissioner Pelt and a second by Commissioner Kirkendall. Any discussion? I have uh, just a question. I know there's a deadline to canvas the votes. That's why we had to have a special meeting today. Mm -hmm. um, since we don't have the, all of the local races, is, is that going to be an issue that we're not going to canvass those today? Those won't be uh, canvassed until next Monday? I, I think so. motion was so moved. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. And this come, this is what Secretary of State gave her, so I'm thinking that's all they're looking for. Okay. I just want to be sure. Yes, sir. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. I move we adjourn. Second. Second. I have a motion by the judge and a second by... Three up. Never <laughs> <Mr. Cooper. laughs> stand All right. Everyone have a good Thanksgiving. Yes, yes. sir. Y'all too. And I'll see you at the next one. See you at the next one. Next Monday. Next Monday. Ten o'clock. Same to you, bro. Y'all be careful. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you get any calls. Uh, Chris, have a good one. Yes, sir. You too. For us. Have a good one. I'll be I got a clue on call. I'll be running and checking on calls. No problem. Have a good Thanksgiving. I don't think there'll be anything. I wouldn't expect there to be anything. Usually, this is a great time. Yeah. That's okay, no problem. But I just know that in the past we have run all the local races. I mean, I haven't been here up here, but I remember being out there and had a lot of that off. So, yeah, we've, we've done the locals. You're welcome. Donnie Gullick. I would figure I would figure if it was a county yeah. any county wide yeah. race. Yeah. David David yeah. Sheffield yeah. in the yeah. room. Yeah. You would figure the <laughs> county wide races would be the sheriff. Yeah. He would have at least a sheriff yeah. in there. Yeah. I wasn't here Friday, I was out sick. So uh when I, she just called and told me that she had it. So it's I don't it's know. just like I hate to say this. But you know the, the ethics on the on turning in our our reports, our expense reports, and stuff during the election. Yeah, you know, my guy didn't know, didn't know, and I didn't either. That it was.